Hi everyone, Saga here with your weekly Monday memo and wow, we have a very intense and powerful and transformative week ahead of us. So right now the sun is in Sagittarius, but that will change to 21st, which I'll get to. <laughs> um, Mercury and Venus is in Capricorn and Mars is in Gemini as it will be until next year. Um, and of course Capricorn is a very hardworking and very stoic almost sign. So that means that there's a lot of that sort of energy surrounding us, especially when it comes to our thoughts or communication and our relationships. Now the 20th, so tomorrow from when I'm filming this, but I don't know when you're watching it. So the 20th of December, um, Jupiter is going to enter Aries. And Jupiter is one of those planets that really is connected with growth um, and strength and, and, you know, individuality. And so Aries being a very fiery sign is basically making this sort of energy very empowering. And, you know, Jupiter is one of the more slow moving planets. So it's one of those deeper inner big shifts that we might feel. So we're going to go into a feeling of embracing ourselves and empowerment, growth plus fire, you know, <laughs> beautiful energy. And the day after the 21st, more beautiful energy, the solstice. Um, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's going to be the Winter Solstice, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it's going to be the Summer Solstice. And the Solstice is such a beautiful thing. I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> go too much on about that, because there would be a whole video on its own, because I love the Solstice period. Um, but it's this beautiful time where either light or dark is at its peak, you know, the longest day or the longest night. But at the same time, it's this meeting and passing over and blending that really reminds us of how that shift honors both the past and the future. It's quite a beautiful time. Um, and the day after that, <laughs> the 22nd of December, we enter Capricorn season. It, it, so that means that uh, the sun is going to shift out of Sagittarius and go into Capricorn, thus joining Mercury and Venus there, meaning that we're going to also feel that sort of hardworking, almost industrious energy when it comes to our core as well, who we are and what we really want to align ourselves with during this period in our time, like in our life at th this time. Um, the 22nd to the 23rd that night is also the Ursid's meteor shower peak, so good to know if you're into that. And then, of course, the 23rd, you know, it's one day after another. Um, we have a super new moon in Capricorn. <laughs> Told you, very strong Capricorn energies this week. Um, so a, a little gentle advice maybe <laughs> that I want to give you is if this is a holiday season for you, then be mindful that that hardworking energy and that stoic energy and very practical nature might have you being very productive. And that can, of course, be good. But maybe also if you want to really celebrate and em embody that sort of holiday spirit, no matter which holiday you're celebrating, it might be good to be aware that you don't work yourself too hard and that you allow yourself to actually consciously choose to take a step out of that energy, that flowing, hardworking energy, and actually enjoy the moment. But for the moon, the peak times for this super new moon is 2.16 a.m. in Los Angeles, 5.16 a.m. in New York, 10.16 a.m. in London, and 9.16 p.m. in Sydney, Australia. And, you know, of course, new moons are a beautiful time to really plant our seeds and prepare and look forward. And because it's also so close to the solstice and, of course, our more modern traditional view of the calendar and our modern sense of the shifting of the year, it might be a beautiful time, especially with it being a super new moon, so the energies are more intense, to really, really sit down and look ahead. But in doing so, also, of course, look behind you and see what's happened this year and how far you've come and which areas you've grown in and which areas you maybe haven't grown in as much and what worked, what didn't work. And from there, from this conscious place, plant those seeds for what you want to grow going forward. Um, and, you know, especially with that Capricorn energy, if it's things you want to really work on, be it literal work, um, a career or such, or where you really feel like you need that sort of structured energy, Tapping into that, this super new moon, is a beautiful time to do so. 
And yeah, that's pretty much this week when we're talking about the more astrological side of things. Of course, as always, I've drawn a card um, for some of you. And this card is a bit more of an emotional one, if you can see. Uh, the card is, I'm sorry. And the words or phrases on it is defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. So with this period of shifting, of looking back so that we can move forward, it's of course also a time where a lot of feelings can and probably will arise. Um, what I forgot to mention is that the 23rd, Chiron also goes direct and Chiron is, you know, the wounded healer. And so when Chiron is retrograde, we might have a lot of things bubbling up to the surface and a lot of situations that are challenging us in the areas where we maybe have felt that we've healed a lot already and they're getting reopened or in places that we haven't really addressed and have remained unhealed. And so with Chiron going back direct, that means those wounded healer energies are flowing more smoothly. Um, so what might have felt like blocks that were actually challenges are now going to maybe start clicking into place and integrating themselves into our lives. So if you've had a lot of challenges and a lot of almost <laughs> uncomfortable healing, if you will, now you might feel how that's going to integrate itself into your life in a sweeter, sort of gentler energy, a bit of grace, you know, a bit of soothing healing rather than the more uprooting healing. But before that can happen, for some of you, there is still the lingering sense of uprooting and sense of defenselessness this defenselessness <laughs> uh, and vulnerability because with these energies comes a lot of vulnerability especially with jupiter and aries that sort of empowering energy in stepping into our empowered self we also step into our vulnerable self in my opinion and so some of you out there are probably going to have a week of sort of raw emotions and of course during the holiday that's a common time for that to flare up as well and if you look at this card it's not really it's not really an encouragement in this card right there it, it's showing the rawness of that emotion of kneeling down and feeling that sort of vulnerability and we can see kind of the roots and people in the roots and the the sky and earth connecting and so what i'm really getting for th from this for you is to allow the process of feeling that, of feeling that energy. It's not something that you have to fight away. It's not something here that saying like, bat it away or do this, do that. It's literally just letting you know that these emotions are okay, they're natural, you're human. And a part of the process of growth is to feel those moments and to feel defenselessness and all that stuff. And if anything, this is your chance to it says writing past wrongs on the card, but I would use the words of healing your wounds, no matter how that looks for you. It could be forgiving yourself, it could be forgiving someone else, it could be release, it could be processing something in a different light, whatever it is, now is a good time to really embrace and allow that energy to go through you and as it goes through you, change into a softer, gentler sort of energy. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm feeling the energy. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> and so with that, of course, for those of you who this resonates with, I send you a lot of love. I hope you get a lot of healing. I hope you can find, if you look, this is very beautiful. There are heart chakras, heart centers, no matter what, what you call this area for you, are lit up among a lot of other stars and of course with the solstice there's also this idea that light is reborn in the winter or in summer you know it's at the peak so i really wish for you to have a lot of that feeling of light so that you can pass through this hard time and heal and with that i wish you a beautiful holiday season um you know i'm going to be updating every monday anyway um and yeah, may you have a beautiful, beautiful week. Even if you don't celebrate the holiday, may you have a beautiful week. May these energies fill you and uplift you. And yeah, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please feel free to leave a comment, a like, subscribe, say hello. Um, otherwise, you know, thank you for being here and for watching. If you're on TikTok or wherever you're watching this, Facebook, hi, I see you. Thank you for being here. Um, you can also, of course, like and leave a comment. And I'll see you next week. Happy holidays.